Hey everyone! Today we're going to break down the Linux boot process for you. In just 3 minutes you'll understand what happens when you press the power button on your computer. Let's get started. Alright, so first up, you power on your computer. The magic begins with the BIOS, or Basic Input-Output System. Think of it as your computer's ignition system. The BIOS initializes the hardware and performs a power-on self-test, or POST, to ensure everything is working fine. Once confirmed, it looks for a bootable device. Next, we have the MBR, or Master Boot Record. The MBR is located in the first sector of your hard drive. It contains the bootloader, which is the tiny program responsible for loading the operating system. Now, when the bootloader is executed, it loads the Linux kernel into memory. The kernel is the core part of Linux, acting as a bridge between the hardware and the software. It's like the conductor of an orchestra, ensuring every instrument, or in this case every part of your system, plays in harmony. With the kernel in charge, the system initializes hardware drivers and mounts the root file system. Then comes init, the very first process started by the kernel. Init is like the maestro, directing the orchestra to ensure everything plays in sync. It's responsible for starting all other processes on your system. Now let's talk about run levels. Run levels determine the state of your machine. For example, run level 1 is single user mode, perfect for maintenance tasks. Run level 3 is multi-user mode with networking, and run level 5 includes the graphical interface. INIT sets these run levels based on the configuration. So, to recap, when you power on, the BIOS kicks in, performs checks, and hands over to the MBR. The MBR loads the bootloader, which loads the kernel. The kernel then starts INIT, which sets the run levels and initializes processes. And just like that, your Linux system is up and running. I hope this simplified guide helps you understand the Linux boot process better. It's fascinating how all these steps work together seamlessly. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech content. Thanks for watching and see you next time.